Hi everyone, this is Ray from RW Aquarium Pages and today I'm going to show you how to create your own beautiful planted shrimp aquarium display. I've successfully kept planted aquariums for over 25 years and shrimp for over 10 years. For this display, I'll be going with the Caridina species of shrimp. I'll introduce some basic equipment you'll need to be successful and items that can be substituted. The main goal of setting up this stunning planted display is to ensure that it's also low maintenance. With this project, I've decided to go with a 7 gallon Aquatop bookshelf aquarium that I purchased from my good friends at April's Aquarium. As you can see, it's a beautiful rimless aquarium with a large enough surface area which allows shrimp to maintain their playfulness while mimicking their natural habitat. I wouldn't recommend anything smaller than a 5 gallon as the water isn't as stable. For larger tanks, you would have to increase the number of shrimp so that it wouldn't look as empty and the shrimp feels safer. I'll be going with the Caridina species of shrimp and they'll require a buffered substrate. The one I'll be using is ADA Amazonia, but I've also used Tropica and SL Aqua. The basic premise is the substrate has nutrients for plants to grow well and also buffer the water so it's more acidic around a pH of 6.6, .6, which is the ideal range for Caridina species. The plants provide a natural hiding place for shrimp to feel safe and also the biofilm on the surface of the plants which is a food source for the shrimp and baby shrimplets. The typical plants shrimp breeders and keepers use are moss, anubias, and bucophalandra as they do well in a low-tech, low-maintenance aquarium. I'll be using these plants and introduce a few other plants I've had success that are also low-maintenance. I'll introduce some hydrocotyl tripartita, trident java fern, Subwasser Tang and Rotala species green. All my plants are from Tropica Aquarium plants which can be purchased at April's Aquarium. The lighting I'm using is a Chihiro's A series but only at 20% intensity. There are many different lights on Amazon and eBay that you can choose but most of them are very powerful and in the design of a low tech low maintenance aquarium I'd recommend running them at low intensity. Planted aquariums are all about balance. If you use high light you'll need more fertilizers and more CO2. When it's out of balance, issues like algae start to appear. The filter is a simple dual sponge filter. It is a very simple design and I'll hide it in the back of the plants and wood. You can go all out and use a canister filter or a hang on back filter also. Shrimp don't require much flow and a sponge filter provides enough flow and also allows the shrimp to nibble on the biofilm that grows on it. I will be using RODI water and then remineralize to the amount of minerals ideal for shrimp and plants. To remineralize the water, the product I'll be using is SL Aqua's Blue Wizard. I've tried and used Salty Shrimp and Tima. They basically all do the same thing. They add minerals back to a certain point that's ideal for plants and shrimp. The next video, I'll show the setup of a planted shrimp aquarium display using the items described. Thanks for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe.